Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar. Today in Matrices and Determinant Part 3, we will talk about how to calculate determinant and we will also discuss Cramer's rule which is also known as determinant method. If A is a 2 by 2 matrix where elements are A11, A12, A21 and A22, then determinant of A can be calculated using upper diagonal minus lower diagonal which is equals to a11 multiplied by a22 minus a21 multiplied by a12. Always remember that if determinant of a equal to 0 then a is known as singular matrix and if determinants of a not equal to 0 then a is called non-singular matrix. Example 1 find k where a matrix two, which is 2 by 2 matrix 3k27 is a singular matrix. It is given that A is a singular matrix. So determinants of A equals to 0. Now determinant of 3k27 equal to 0 which equals to upper diagonal minus lower diagonal this implies 3 multiplied by 7 minus 2 multiplied by k equal to 0. So 21 minus 2k equal to 0. So the value of k equals to 21 by 2. If A is 3 by 3 matrix where elements are A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32 and A33. Then determinants of A to calculate determinants of A will take sign alternately. So in the first one we will take positive, negative, positive and we saw like this first we take a11 first row first column cancels so what's remain a22 a23 a32 and a33 minus a12 first row second column cancels so what's remain a21 a23 a31 and a33 then plus a13 first row third column cancel so what's remain a21 a22 a31 and a3. Now we will solve using upper diagonal minus lower diagonal. So A11 multiply by A22 multiply by A33 minus A32 multiply by A23 minus A12. Again upper diagonal minus lower diagonal A21 multiply by A33 minus A31 multiply by A23 plus A13. A21 multiply by A32 minus A31 multiply by A22. And this will give you determinants of A. Example, if A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a 3 by 3 matrix, then find determinants of A. To calculate determinant of A, first we write the matrix in determinant form 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So start with 1, first to first column cancels, first remain 5, 6, 8, 9, minus 2, first to second column cancels, first remain 4, 6, 7, 9, plus 3. First row third column cancel plus 7, 4, 5, 7, 8. And after calculation, we will get minus 3 plus 12 minus 9, which equals to 0. Because determinant of A equal to 0, so A is singular matrix. Area of triangle ABC, where A is x1, y1, B is x2, y2, and C is x3, y3. We can calculate area of triangle using determinant and the formula is 1 by 2 x1 y11 x2 y21 x3 y31. Example Find area of triangle ABC where A 2,3 B 6,7 and C 8,2. Using above formula, we can calculate area of triangle half determinant of 2, 3, 1. 671 and 821. When we calculate the whole determinant, we will get half of 2 into 5 minus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 into minus 44. And after solving, we will get answer minus 14. But the area never be negative, so the area is 14 square units. To solve these two equations, we will use determinant method or grammar rule. Solve system equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z equals to d1, a2x plus b2y plus c2z equals to d2, a3x plus b3y plus c3z equals to d3. 
in order to calculate x y z first we calculate d d is coefficients of x y and z a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 and c1 c2 c3 then we calculate dx we take coefficient of y and z but in place of coefficient of x we will take d1 d2 and d3 then we calculate dy we will take coefficient of x and z but in the place of coefficient of y we will take d1 d2 and d3 then we calculate dz we will take coefficient of x and y but in place of coefficient of z we will take d1 d2 and d3 if d not equal to 0 then system is consistent and it has unique solution and x equals to dx upon d, y equals to dy upon d, and z equals to dz upon d. Now one example on Cramer's rule. Solve system of equations by Cramer's rule or determinants method where equations are x plus y plus z equal to 6, 2x minus y plus z equals to 3, and 3x plus y minus z equals to 2. First we calculate d. d is coefficients of x, y and z which is equals to 1, 2, 3, 1 minus 1, 1 and 1, 1 minus 1. And after solving we will get 10 which is not equal to 0. So system is consistent and it has unique solution. Now we calculate dx. In dx we take coefficients of y and z but in place of coefficient of x we take constant which is 6, 3 and 2 and after calculation we will get 10. In dy we will take coefficients of x and z but in place of coefficient of y we will take constant which is 6, 3 and 2 and after calculation we will get minus 5 plus 30 minus 5 is equals to 20 and dz in case of dz we will take coefficient of x and y and in place of coefficient of z we will take constant which is 6 3 and 2 and after calculation we will get the value of dz equals to 30 now x equals to dx upon d which is 10 upon 10 equals to 1 y dy upon d which is equals to 20 by 10 the answer equals to 2 and z equal to dz upon d which equals to 30 upon 10 and the answer of z is 3. So the value of x, y and z equals to 1, 2, 3 is a unique solution of system equation.